show you how to uh, uh, show to people the search history in HTML and JavaScript and the jQuery. We're gonna use jQuery for that. So here I got I got the simple search uh, place. For example, if you write dog, it will open the dog page and stuff like this. Uh, this was the a video that I made in the past that you can find you know, on YouTube. So it's a simple page uh, where there is a input, a text input, that if you write, for example, dog, it will open the dog page. If you write cat, it will open another page. And now what we want to do is to show the history of uh, the research. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, down the input here. And we're gonna create a div. So yeah, we're gonna create a div. We're gonna give it the ID of uh, history line. History. You can give it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it like this. And we're gonna call it. We're gonna create like a title. Title. And I'm gonna call history. So as you can see here, we can see it's written history. After that, I am gonna add some. Uh, I'm gonna add some CSS code to make it more beautiful. So I'm gonna call the ID of the history line. So history line, and I'm gonna get, align the text in the center. I'm gonna give a width of fifty percent. And the height I'm gonna put auto. Uh, why? Because the history of research will be down, will be down of the history like this, like here. And I'm gonna add the background color of white, so it's gonna be white. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, now we're gonna start the the real part. So what is really important is that you in import this, the jQuery, uh, the jQuery code line. This is really important because without this, nothing will function. Now we're gonna put in place the, uh, the jQuery to show the history of, uh, of the search. So here you're gonna go and you're gonna write search history so we're gonna create a function we're gonna call a function called that we're gonna call it search history you can call everything that you want and here we're gonna put a comma be aware don't uh, put the search history in the first place not after the open page because it else it will not work so put the search history in the first place so when we're gonna click on change so when we're gonna click enter it will call the function function search history, then the open page open page. For us, open page is to get to open. For example, if the value is equal to dog, it will open the dog page. And for the search history, we're gonna take the value, and we're gonna show it on the screen. So to do so, we're gonna go down here in the script, and we're gonna call a uh, function. Uh, we call that function search history uh, so <clears throat> you're gonna write like this and after what we're gonna use we're gonna use the jQuery so first we're gonna create a variable that we're gonna call recent research oops or just recent search yeah it's better so now we're creating an arrow an arrow so like this, it will be something like this. Okay, we're creating an array. After that, we're gonna use the jQuery push technique. So we're gonna call the recent search, and we're gonna take the variable, and we're gonna add the new, the, the new word. So now I'm searching, I'm looking for the dollar sign. After you put like this, and here you're gonna go and take the value that you gave to your text input. 
so it's here our text input and we gave it the value of uh, the ID of search so you're writing search dot val which is value we're gonna go take the value of it and now we uh, there is a problem yeah mm. okay or maybe without this it will work too yeah so we're gonna go take the value of the input that uh, the person wrote and this technique you can find more about this on w3 schools so the push method adds new items to the end of an array so what we did we create an array and every time we write something here it will add it to the array it will do like a list of words and after that you're gonna go down you're gonna write dollar sign for each word we're gonna call a function uh, so yeah and function you write function then we're gonna take the index and we're gonna take the value mm -hmm. So it be like this. Oops, sorry, we're gonna type this here. Yeah. So for each uh, word, we're gonna take the value and do something with it. In our ca case, what I want to do is to create a paragraph uh, at the bottom of the in this div. So to do so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a constant. We're gonna call it p because it's a paragraph. And we're gonna do like documents that create element. So we're gonna create an element, and it will be a paragraph like this. After that, we're gonna grow, go and write the value. So in HTML is when you modify something, you add something in the paragraph. So we're gonna add the value. No, of the word, uh, so we're gonna add the word to this paragraph, uh, and then we're gonna create a document. We're gonna get element by ID. So we're gonna get the this div that we call it history line. So you do copy, you copy that, and you just here then append child so we are adding to in this the paragraph so this so now what we did it's that we create an array we add the value of for example if I write dog and I click enter which I will not do for the moment for example if I write this I click enter it will add it to the array and then for each word that we add it will do something in our create uh, case we're gonna create a paragraph that and we're gonna give the value a value to the paragraph which will be for example this one the if 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 something we're gonna give it to the paragraph and then we're gonna print it out so we're gonna add the paragraph to a div uh, so basically it's all yeah and again don't forget to add this line the jQuery if not it will not work and put this one first so now let's test so I'm gonna erase if I write for example YouTube and click enter but something went wrong so uh, let's figure out which one. Maybe this one. Um, no. So yeah, the search is. Oh, okay. I know which one. This one. Yeah. 
the problem was here because I put it like uh, something bad here so you erase it and this is correct normally it should work yeah it's working so every time the, the person will write something for example YouTube click enter it will show it here and for example if I write dog click enter it will open the page of dog and it will write it here uh, but the problem is that if you uh, reload the page it will not appear it will disappear um, actually that's it you can also like instead of doing like a div like this you can create a button that when the guy click on like C history it will uh, sh uh, show this so that was it uh, thank you uh, for watching me L uh, if you enjoyed this video please let me know and like and subscribe thank you and bye